Tile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. This is a story unlike any you have been told before. Subnautica was meant to be just another playthrough. Just another game on this small channel with a couple of hundred subscribers. Play the storyline, upload and move on. I couldn't have anticipated what would happen. No one could have anticipated what would happen. It's difficult to describe this journey we are about to go on in words. But let me try. We go to the depths of hell, finding not only the dangers that lurk beneath, but finding ourselves in the current of these oceans. Going where no butch has been before, we take the horrors of this game head on. Scared to an inch of our lives, our sanity on the precipice of demolition, from coming head on with the reaper to evacuating my bowels to the vastness below. From moments of sheer desperation to fleeting memories of success, we throw everything we have at this game. This is my story. This is my journey. This is Subnautica. Our story starts where every story starts, the beginning. And our beginning is LivePod 5, a small emergency shutter-like pod which has crash-landed into the waters of this mysterious planet. I feel I need to point something out, something that will become evident as our story unravels, but nonetheless, I feel it important to cover this point. I hate open bodies of water. No, I hate open bodies of water, an emphasis on the open part. I don't squeal at a glass of water or a bath, but when staring into the depths of the unknown, I am overcome with a fear which is difficult to describe. Wait, am I under the... No, that's Clarence. What the fuck is... Oh. Oh. Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. What? Zero human life signs detected. Oh, I don't know. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what to do. What do I need to do? <laughs> what do I need to? Oh. There's no instruction manual here. I had to learn the only way I knew how. Fuck about and find out. We familiarized ourselves with our surroundings, noticing a broken radio and a fabricator. Once we had distracted ourselves enough to calm down, we tried going outside one more time. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's literally no land. What do I do? Oh, I've got to... There's no way. I'm going to jump, haven't I? I've got to... <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck it. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's deep. What the... F it was right around at this point that it was clear to me we were going to be oh. in for a long ride. My sphincter was about to get the workout of its life. But somehow, we managed to muster up the courage to scour the local vicinity for basic resources. We gathered enough to be able to craft some basic equipment like a standard O2 tank, scanner, and a knife. All right. Whoa. That was definitely a good thing sound. Get those fucking shoulders up. Have some self-respect. Uh oh. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I can't. I can't go in the dark. I can't go in the dark. Nope. Can I sleep? <laughs> Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive oh. core sustained during planet fall. Okay. My premature ejaculation from the life pod in the night had only made things worse for me. We had to keep moving forward as to not be consumed by the ocean already. We got busy repairing the radio. Fuck. Oh, oh, let me soak in that light. Right. Being absolutely enthralled by the radio message, God only knew how I managed to hold it together when we had an alert broadcast about the Aurora ship. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10. Is that the Aurora? Seven. Six. Oh! Uh! Three. Two. Am I saying? Oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh! Don't fall off. There's a running theme in this. Whenever I am extremely uncomfortable, I forget to talk, which isn't the best for a YouTuber. However, now the radio was fixed, we started to receive signals. So we investigated one coming from LifePod 3. Here we found some fragments, which allowed us to build the first major upgrade. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for life yeah. and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I <laughs> you have no issues with me going five kilometers away. But it's it's this see this here, this is fine, okay, because I can see the surface. Oh, speaking of. I need oxygen. But I can see the surface. I know I'm not that high. Right? I don't I don't like over there or over there, but if I turn here, this is okay. I mean that fucks me up a little bit. But this isn't you know, it's colourful, it's it, it's nice. But it's when we have to start going into places where there's oh what, what do you That fucks me up. When when you swim over something <laughs> and then there's the the drop down into the abyss oh Actually, it makes me want to gag thinking about it. We started to explore further afield, and this is when the game gave us a taste of just how expansive the ocean can be. <sighs> oh, it's boggy. What's that? Just go, just go, just go. Oh, oh no. Oh. Thirty seconds. Oh, shit. Get what you need. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, no, I can't go up. I can't go up. Short range scans. Where's the home? Where's the home? Extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance. I hate it, I hate it so deep. Meters, leading to an unknown environmental bio. Oh, it's so deep. <sighs> that was enough pussyfooting around. We decided it was time to head to the clouds on the horizon. It was 
During this journey, where I first had the feeling that I might not be able to complete this game. When I look back on core gaming experiences, these next two minutes have cemented themselves in my memory. It just says go in this direction. I'm going to press the auto go. Oh. It's, I can't look, I can't look underneath the water. I can't, I can't do it. Oh, no, no. Oh, fuck. I don't know what's worse, not knowing what's underneath you or knowing. Not knowing. Actual no. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like this. I really... I really fucking don't like this. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. <sighs> Get me on land. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. By the grace of whatever gods there may be, we made it to the island. We began exploring what it had to offer, which included multiple plants, weird one-eyed huh? crab things, and a multi-purpose room. Finally, some actual, tangible progression. But if we were going to be able to get <gasps> further, we were going to need something to help us. The Sea Moth. Integrating new PDA data. Is this one? Are you a Sea Moth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I fucking don't like that one bit. Unfortunately, our adventures to secure the remaining Seamoth fragments and the Vehicle Bay fragments were cut short by what appeared to be a rescue message. Hold up, on radio. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you what? during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. The sunbeam. Sunbeam who? Oh. Wait, so the sunbeam, whatever the fuck that is, is landing there. And is that timer going to stay there the whole time? I hope so. Right, shit. Does that make... Wait. We have to try and build the Seamoth in under 39 minutes. Okay, just west of Life of Serpentine. And so the race was on. I could think of nothing worse than having to travel a kilometre to the Sunbeam landing zone with only the Sea Glider. We needed the vehicle bay fragments and we needed them fast. I'm going to be brave. I, I, I need to, if I'm going to do this with under 39 minutes, I, I can't afford to wait. In our frantic searches, we found a wreckage, and even though darkness had descended, we knew we didn't have the time to spare. We needed these fragments. Oh! I'm in! Is it in here? Yeah, yeah, how many do I need? Shit, wrong button. Fuck. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> One of three. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Oh, look. Oh. 
Where the hell are we? I'm gonna run out of oxygen in here. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. I'm gonna run out of oxygen in here. Quick, quick. Oh. oh. How do we get out? How do we, this, this wasn't the way. Oh no. Why is it so, Oh no, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. How do we get out? How do I? No, not like this. Not like this. No. No! Which way? No! Can I not breathe those in? No! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. When did I last save the game? No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No! Is this... Sometimes life has a funny way of working things out. After our tragic death, we began our journey back to the wreckage, only to find a smaller one just outside the base. Oh! We found it! Yes! Get me home, get me home. Oh, wait, what resources do I need to build this? Well, a titanium ingot, a drop of lube, and a power cell, it turned out. And thus, the vehicle bay was born. Oh, it goes on top. What the? Wait, is this a vehicle? I see. Okay, we need titanium and got and glass. Yes. Holy sh. Is that? That's mine. I made. Oh, I made this. Oh, look at it. It so. I am totally okay with being called captain. I get oxygen. Oh, it's quite fast as well. Oh, I like this. Not only had we gained a seamoth, we had gained some balls of steel. Eh, kind of. The seamoth had given me the courage to travel longer distances, so we headed in the direction instructed so by the radio to rendezvous with the sunbeam and finally get off this godforsaken planet. Oh fuck this. Oh. 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 What the fuck is that? No. There's a map. Okay, okay, we're gonna stay above the water. Just, just here. Just here, and we're not gonna look down. Oh. Oh my god. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Put me on shore. 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 Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Oh. Oh. Huh? oh What the fuck is that? Upon arriving on another strange island, we took a look around and found a strange green force field blocking the way into the base of the alien looking structure, as well as a strange looking pink tablet. But before we knew it, the timer was nearly at zero. So with an anticipation that was almost palpable, we went to the rendezvous point. 
30 seconds and counting. Oh! What the fuck? Is that the sunbeam? This is like a massive lighthouse. Oh, it's going dark. What the fuck? There's an eclipse? Again? I feel like this is an awfully inconvenient time for an eclipse. Survivor, we see you. <laughs> yes. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. Oh, the humans! The we're descending towards the landing site. Where? Is that a building down there? What do you mean you're here? Am I gonna get I'm gonna get saved? Oh here! Oh here, please save me from this hellhole, please! Hey. Oh my god! This is like the Martian! It's coming from the building. Change doors. Set thrusters to full. Did I actually think I was going to get saved? No. Did I want for it in every fibre of my being? Yes. Frothing with disappointment, we placed the paint tablet in the contraption by the green force field. This unlocked it and we began exploring this strange alien building. To our surprise, this place was massive. We followed the winding path towards the back of the structure where we found an unusual looking contraption. What? This is fucking weird. I'm getting. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh. Is it friendly? It just touch it then. Oh shit! Twat. So this is how to turn the weapon off, but I can't do it because I'm in fit. In this planet's background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. What the fuck is going on should be the motto of this playthrough because genuinely I didn't have a Scooby. This definitely felt like endgame stuff, and I was nowhere near the end game. We needed to get back to basics. We needed a home. We wanted to build a large room and for this we needed some lithium, a resource we had yet to find. So we travelled home to set out on our next adventure, the Jelly Shroom Cave. A genuine- oh here it is. Oh sweet Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, right, save the game. So, uh, down here hopefully should be, I pray to God there will be, lithium. Oh. Oh. Wait for it. Okay. Oh, you know what would be great? You know what would be really fantastic if we get lithium here? I've... Oh, I've got to get out. Okay, no, no. I've got to get out. I've got to get out. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. How deep does it go? Oh, 
shit, man. Oh. I don't like... I fucking really don't like... I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I've got to get out. I can't get out. It's hard to describe exactly how this makes me feel. It's like being both hot and cold at the same time, about every rational thought being overwritten by this intrinsic fear of the depth. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial oh, structure somewhere in the region. It's, it's getting out of this Seamoth, man. I have to get out of it to go and grab that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna press E. What's that? Okay, alright, no. Okay. I'm gonna. Shit, shit. Where's it gone? Where's, where's it gone? There it is. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna press E. And then get out, and then swim, I come back, and then I click to get in. Okay. Okay. What was that? I don't want diamond! I need lithium! Fuck. I need one lithium. Lady Luck wasn't on our side, and unfortunately, we were running low on hydration and the will to live. There was no way I could go deeper into the cave. I just couldn't do it. Luckily for us, when scouting a creepy place called the Mushroom Forest, we stumbled across some lithium. Finally, we were able to begin building a home. This, this is a nice place. I'm kind of getting fond of this area, so... Uh, how do I rotate shit? Is there a way for me to rotate shit? Or do I want to build it on top of this thing? Like, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna build it... Here. No good noises? Nothing? I do, yeah. Yeah, yes. Warning, emergency power only. <laughs> Oxygen production offline. Uh As soon as I started to get a little bit comfortable, the game had to go and absolutely humble me. Is that? What are you? What are you? Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, oh, panic. No, where's my scanner? Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. I am confused. What the fuck was that? In all honesty, I didn't even want to think about what that Mario Kart blob on my goggles was. That was a problem for another time. I had my hands full in turning this large and empty room into a place of comfort and security. I have mixed thoughts on Subnautica. I hate this game, but it also might be the best game that I have ever played. I'm an emotional guy, right? 
I wear my emotions publicly and I seldom shy away from expressing myself. This means I feel things on a magnitude greater than what I perceive from others. When I get scared in this game, I have a squealing digestive exorcism. But when the little things happen, like building your first home, it's a feeling of elation and accomplishment. Because of this, this game exhausts me. You can see it in my face. Playing this game for two to three hours, it feels like ten. The constant tension of the unknown and battling with my wits completely took it out of me. I will let you in on a secret. Most nights in the game, I don't do anything. It started off because I was too scared to go outside in the dark, but it soon developed into a way of taking a little break. Reset and try and mentally recover a little bit before the next day. And it's a good job that we did because the next day we managed to find and craft the moon pool as well as the initial upgrades for the sea moth, meaning that we could now go deeper. Not that we wanted to, mind you. Oh my god! I don't know why. This is definitely TMI. I've not really spoke about it before, but like, whenever you look over here, this bit specifically where it's dark, my bollocks tingle. But not in, not in, oh my god, not in a good way. It's in a kind of... <sighs> my sincerest apologies for talking about my aggressive tingly bollocks. It had actually been three or four days since I'd last played Subnautica when recording this, so I spent a little bit of time just trying to get accustomed with the game before we set out on our adventures. It's so um, difficult to describe how it... Like, it it doesn't just jump scare you when you... It, I don't know, it's not like a... I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Like, everybody says they're safe. <laughs> no, I'm out, I'm out. Goodbye. Adios, adios. Ooh, titanium. Growing up, I worked for my mum as a gardener, so plants have always given me a sense of comfort or a sense of home, and I really wanted to bring that comfort into my base in Subnautica. This Oh, look at this. Bosh. Do hmm. Oh, I'm out of beckon titanium again. All right, off we go. Nice. I have no idea what it does. Ooh. Oh, can we? Do we have? No, we don't really have any C. Oh, maybe these, actually. Maybe those. You know, home is defined in lots of different ways. Some say home is where your heart is. Some say home is wherever your family is. I've always said that home is where you ship with the most comfort. But Subnautica has taught me that perhaps there is another definition of home. The place where you feel the safest. This home was becoming my happy place. My area, my escape. And yes, I absolutely was putting up all the plants to delay the inevitable of going outside because I really didn't want to. But in life, you need the good and the bad. The bad gives us reference for the good, and the good gives us reference for the bad. Life can't be perfect, because if it was, it would never be bad. And if it was never bad at points, how could we ever know it was perfect? So we can accept that life is both good and bad. And I'm enjoying the good moment right now. Because fuck me sideways, we have some bad ones coming up. But we don't have to face them alone. I had asked my viewers to suggest a name for our sea moth, and the most upvoted one was Thalassophilia, meaning open water lover. You lot really are sadistic wankers. But because I can't spell for shit, we shorten the name to Philippa. 
my god, we have some adventures in Philippa, starting with a trip to the Degazi habitat. Oh. oh! What was that? What's that? What's that? No, f no fucking way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way! It's literally blocking my. Oh, I get really fucking angry sometimes when. Oh, oh no. Oh shit, no. <laughs> Bastard. <sighs> oh, oh wait, I can do my, my little. Oh, it's there, but it's not pink. It's not pink like the others. It's like a grey sperm. Do they respond to light? I don't... I, I really don't... I really... Second questioning my career choice is pursuing YouTube right now. Oh, I hate this. I can't even see. Is it down there? That looks to be the floor, doesn't it? Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's not often in life you find your path blocked by a giant cave sperm. But this was one of those rare occasions. I would rather sit on an upside down cheese grater than go near that thing. We tactically studied its movement patterns for a short while, trying to see if we could find a safe window to proceed. Oh no, don't go that way, Eddie. I need to go that way. Come back. Fuck off somewhere else. He's doing 360s. Is that a mating ritual? Fuck, there's another one. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Oh no, he's there. If he goes in, we go. If he goes in, we go. If he goes in, we go. If he keeps... He's gone. Oh! Shit! Oh, no, 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 no. What do I need? Don't, no, don't make me get out. Don't make me get out. Don't make me get out. Oh, my God. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's the stinging uh, dingleberries. Oh. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, I don't know what to do. Is there a door? I didn't bring any med kits. I've gotta get out, I've gotta get out. I've gotta get out, I've gotta get out. What the? Passing 100 meters, ah. oxygen efficiency ah, I'm here. Passing 200 meters, yeah. oxygen efficiency <sighs> What? What's this? Water filtration machines? Okay, we get in. Oh no, that, I also have to go back up. Oh, my oxygen goes down so fast. Oh, oh, it's paper. It's paper. It's paper. It's paper. Okay, may, maybe, maybe we go back in and we get oxygen. Oh, it's right there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Get down! Oh. Okay. Are these stinging dingle but What the oh, what? what? I don't know what that is. Oh fuck off now, nah, I hate this. I I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. What is that noise? I hate this. Ultra high, great. Yeah, I just want to get out. A bed! 
Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Okay, no, we gotta get back. We gotta get back. Oh, my neck! Sometimes silence speaks louder than words. But to be honest, not for me, because I talk a lot when I get scared and nervous. You know how, like, um, in some games you will... I'm not crying, by the way. I just pushed my eyes. That's why the war in a little bit. You know, what's an example? Like, I don't know. When you, when you play, like, Assassin's Creed or something, you will grind for ages, you'll go into difficult areas, and then you get a magical spear from Zeus or something. In this game, you work really hard to go to places you don't want to go, to get items, to craft a thing which allows you to go to places you don't want to go to even more than the place that you've just been. Fuck. Oh, I need to go back inside. I don't know what that roar was, okay? Three. Two. One. Oh, I'm not out. I don't know what that is. I've already I've already done that. What about in here? Anything in here? Can they go up? Just, it isn't closed, right? I'm not about to swim out into the open. Oh! Uh! I'm safe? Am I safe? Am I safe? Abandoned PDA. Wait. New PDA Is that what I needed? Is that the, was that the whole point of me coming here? What is the fucking point of me coming here? Let me go back to the Seamoth. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, -hoo -hoo! I did that with so much confidence that I didn't have, but but I'm not gonna shrug my shoulders the entire time. I'm genuinely getting a little bit of neck and back pain from playing this game. I think that's everything. We got the bed. Is that Ruby? Oh, oh, oh no, I'm shrugging my shoulders. Fuck it. Nah, we're done. We're done. We're going home. We're going home. I've got, I've got. Oh no, 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 no. It's right by the sea moth. Somehow I kept it together enough to scan all of the blueprints. Minus one, which we will touch on later. And we managed to escape the Degazi habitat. This was the deepest we had been, and you cannot fathom how much it had unsettled me. The thing is, a superlative is temporary. It's ever-changing. What was once the deepest place you had been will at some point be overtaken. What was once the bravest thing you have ever done will be substituted by another act of valor. What was once the scariest thing to ever happen would be overtaken by what is about to happen. Throughout my playthrough, Tens of thousands of people had in an almost cult-like fashion banded together to ask me one thing. My thought process is this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh 
my god. <laughs> if you don't laugh, you'll fucking cry. I do not want to go to this shit, man. Um, my thought process is this. As the crow flies, it's a shorter distance to the back than it is the front. So I'm going that way first. So that is southeast almost exactly on the compass. Okay, Philip, are you ready to go? Because <laughs> I'm certainly not. Fuck. Okay, okay. All right. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, nah, I can't, I can't, I can't. Ah, this is going to be so shit, I already know it. This is going to be so shit, I already know it. How far out do we have to go before we're in barely anything, before we're in completely... How fucking deep does it go already? I've never, ever been, like, east before. Okay, we keep shallow, we keep shallow as much as we can. We keep shallow... As much as we can. Oh my god. I genuinely feel ill. It's actually quite ironic. The reason this narration style of video came about is because I find myself saying nothing for large periods of time. When I'm scared or nervous, I talk a lot and I deflect my fears and insecurities with humour. When I am apprehensive to the point of thinking, is it worth it? I'm silent but the internal conflict in my head sounds like shouting. Okay. Was that a reef back? What the fuck? Whoa, I have the major willies right now. Wash his dash. I'm in a bad way. I am in a bad way. I'm in a bad way. What the fuck is making that noise? Seriously. I need to scan, but I need to swap. I need to... I need to... Maybe... Seriously? What the fuck is making that noise? Cyclops engine fragment. We're so close to the surface, though. Oh, what the fuck was that? that close I can't do it I can't do it I don't think I can do it I fuck me man I saw something it's going dark it's going dark I've got to go 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 <sighs> God, what was that what's going on ah I can't do it I can't I can't do it I oh <laughs> I think the best word to describe this is overwhelmed. It's the accumulation of fear and apprehension. It's a fear that is borderline excitement. It bubbles from the epicenter of your being and it manifests itself into a reaction. In most instances in life, I have a fight response. With Subnautica, it's most definitely a flight. Not gonna lie. I, um. I think I panicked. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what I saw. I don't know if that's the ship. 
I didn't know which way it was up or down, left or right. <laughs> this game is taking so much from me. <laughs> By the end of this fucking playthrough, I will have nothing left to give. But the show must go on. We had to find our way onto the Aurora. I have literally had to go and change into a t-shirt because I am sweating that much. Okay. 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 No! Okay! Why is that? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't see anything. What's going on? I don't know where I'm going. I can't do... I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know where I am. 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 Oh, we're sinking. I can't. I don't. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I don't. I can do it. I can do it. I can. Oh, I can't see anything. What's that noise? Shit. Okay, I've got a reference point. The ground. Maybe we go around this way. Maybe we go around this way. That was the biggest shit show in Subnautica history. Painful panicked and pathetic our path was blocked heading downwards towards the front end of the ship without daring to move further from where we were we spent most of the night huddled by the aurora willing the sun to rise the sun's rising the sun's rising the sun's rising oh my sonar beam and this is when we had the first look at our Rory friend. Oh. oh no! No! Oh no! No! No. I can't go this way. I can't swim out into the water. Oh, sh nah. Oh, you motherfucker. I am. <sighs> Distressed. Distressed. And then it happened. It just happened. Uh, oh no! Ah! Uh, no, 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 no. You ain't Ah! Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know where to go. 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 And it's awfully fucking deep. Oh no! 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 Why is it shaking? Oh! I can't. <laughs>
I um <laughs> I think I might have lost a little bit of composure there. That um I um I don't think I'm gonna be scared of reef parks anymore. Listen, okay, my eyes were just watering because I rubbed them. I, I promise I had no recollection of actually crying, but maybe we'll leave that up for the jury. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. We googled the entrance to the Aurora and yup, it had to be the complete opposite of the way we went. The big monstrous shrimp thing had destroyed my sea moth, but if you think I was going to go through all of that again, you are sadly mistaken. I restarted from my previous save and we headed to the front end of the Aurora. Luckily, we didn't encounter anything along the way. The path was clear, it was time to explore. The Aurora was filled with mysteries and PDAs about the incident, and whilst you viewers had stressed that I should visit the Aurora, the game too had left clues hidden within PDAs around the world that I should pay a visit. Hiding within its walls were a plethora of resources, from nutrient blocks to bottles of water, Posters to stuffed toys, fragments to blueprints. The most important of the latter was the prawn suit. Think an exoskeleton mechanical suit, a little bit like Emily Blunt in Edge of Tomorrow. I'm gonna in addition to the prawn suit, we also find blueprints to the Neptune rocket, an actual rocket ship. Whilst it was unknown to us what we would need to build this, it was nice to know that at least it was a possibility. Maybe I was going to get off this hellhole once and for all. But before we could begin heading back, we needed to fix a problem with the Aurora's drive core. I definitely don't have the appropriate qualifications. I, I am the least qualified person in the world to be here. What the fuck is this? Guys, my eyes are so fucked. I am so... Oh! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Fuck yeah! Oh, wait, look. Look, 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 down there on the right. Ten! Oh, motherfucker, I didn't know I was coming here to work. There's the weird sucky fish. We got busy repairing, but not that we really wanted to. If I was being really honest, I wouldn't have minded another quantum detonation of this reactor core. It would mean that the Reaper that we encountered would have been eradicated from this planet. And honestly, that thought brings me so much joy. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the phone. We had that little voice log from this person saying that the Aurora is going to explode and destroy everything on this planet. I absolutely want this to explode and everything to be destroyed on the planet, including me. I don't want to be here anymore. There's no way I'm getting off this fucking planet alive. Oh, I suppose I better be the good guy. I better be the hero in the game. Extinction of event avoided. I've just got a steam achievement. Let me. So we did a good thing. We did do a good thing. We had saved every species on this planet, including myself, so we could all live to squeal another day. After the traumatic events that unfolded since we set out to the Aurora, it was about time to enjoy the fruits of our labour, decorate our base, and let our blood pressure come down. Things can get incredibly overwhelming in this game, so sometimes you just need to stop, smell the roses, and try and enjoy yourself. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. <laughs> no! ah! 
No fucking way. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? I really, um... I really want to get a better microphone because this one's only a USB microphone and when I squeal, it often cuts out a lot. <laughs> I would love to be able to express myself as much as Markiplier can because if I did, you guys won't be able to hear me because my mic would just give up on life. Whilst a new mic would be convenient, the prawn suit was essential. We set about gathering the resources we needed to build it, which included gel sacks, which we managed to find at the base of a large tree. Before you knew it, we were ready to craft our exoskeleton saviour. Oh yes, yes, yes. Dot, it feels... One first, piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Oh. My. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh. Oh. Holy. Wait. What the fuck? Can I grab stuff with this? Oh my god. It has a chip pack? Wait, how the. I, I mean, I gotta walk everywhere with this? I mean, I'm not disappointed in it, but. Oh my god. You, you couldn't walk everywhere with this. Can I breach with this? Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to end up losing it, though. I presume... Correct me if I'm wrong. I presume that we transport that with the Cyclops. I think. That is fucking amazing. We need to get all of the upgrades for that. I don't know how we upgrade it, though. Hot of the success of crafting the prawn suit, we knew we wanted to get the Cyclops as soon as possible. This massive submarine would allow us to explore even more of the waters around us. After a good while scouring the ocean floor, trying to find the fragments, and then searching for all of the resources needed, we were ready to build. Is it not going to spawn like... Oh, hold on, I'm going to save the game. It's just going to spawn on top of anything. Anyway, stop what you're doing. If you are seated right now, I would like to ask you to stand up. Okay? This is huge. We're making the side. I can't stand up because then I'm out of shot of the camera and then you just look at my crotch and it's awkward for everybody. But here we go. And thus, on the 25th of April at 11 minutes past 7 in the PM, Butch crafted. Cannot build here. Must be constructed in deeper water. Fuck off. Okay, let's see if, see if this works. Okay. And on the 25th of April, at 12 minutes past 11, the Cyclops was born. For fuck's sake. Well, face the... So if I face this way, and then drop. No, I want... <clears throat> and thus... On the 25th of April, at 13 minutes past 7, the Cyclops was born! I seriously am going to lose my shit. You want deeper water? Oh. <laughs> okay, I can't go any further than that. Because I know the Aurora's there. <laughs> For the love of God, please work. I don't want to go any closer to that thing. <clears throat> and thus... On the 25th of April, at 14 minutes past 7, the Cyclops is fucking huge! Oh 
Oh. My. God. Oh. <laughs> it's so. Fucking big. Oh my god! How do I get his eye? Look how big it is! Oh! Oh, it's outrageous! This is out fucking. I have to drive this thing? Oh! My fucking god! Wait, what? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh wait, okay, I get it, right, this is the- this is where we came in, okay. Nice, so it is, I mean, I wish I had a bed, it'd be a, wait, can we make one? Can we use the habitat in here? <gasps> oh! My! God! We can literally make a room! Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about... Wait, oh, hold the fucking phone. We can literally make a, a, a base here. Can I put my bed here? No. Oh. Oh, that's a fucking reef back! Uh, it can't get me from here, though, can it? Oh, my God, look how hairy it is. Look at it. Can he kill them? It's got all sorts of shit on his back. That must be really uncomfortable. That is so loud. Right, okay. Anyway, uh, more important things. I was looking to see if I can put my bed down. But it doesn't... It really doesn't want me to... Oh, maybe they look like that. I mean, that kind of gets in the way, but it should be fine. I don't think there's a bedroom or anything in here. No. Okay, so we got a fabricator. We could, yeah, we could just build a ton of stuff here. Wait, can I also build, like, a fabricator then? Um, interior modules, here we go. We f oh my god, we can. This is insane. So, I'm gonna just put all of this stuff here so we kinda know what we're gonna need. Um, I might use wall lockers, actually. I feel like that might be a little bit more convenient for us from a space... No, that definitely can't go there. We now essentially had a portable base. One which secured and protected me from the elements and the horrors outside. We had also reached the point in the game where to upgrade anything, we needed resources which were becoming harder and harder to come by, including deep shrooms. Okay, okay, okie dokie, okie dokie. Right, how are we doing? Um, we are, oh, wait, yeah, we were gonna potentially <laughs> go and get some deep shrooms. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Because we were going to get the polyalanine to get the... No, we were going to get the deep shrooms to make the hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid to make the polyanaline And the polyanaline to make the Seymour Perimeter Defense System. They seem deep. Can I not eat this thing? Oh, eight and ten. I mean, the eight isn't very good. Oh, shit. You got an ultimate unlimited? Fuck yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck yeah. That's good. That's a good thing. Good thing happened. A good thing happened, so we're going to go and celebrate by sleeping. And then I need to go <laughs> get some deep shoes. 
I don't know how to describe it, troops. It's like I'm. I feel like ultra, ultra vulnerable to the ocean today. I don't know why. Ooh. And we might now have to potentially. Oh. Like them. We might potentially have to go deeper than we've ever been before. I don't know how deep deep streams go. Shit. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's just not fuck about or anything. We're just. We're just gonna go. I'm gonna get everything I think I might need. Take Philippa and we'll go and see <laughs> if we can find some. <laughs> okay. 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 Just do it. Just do it. Wait, repair this, then just do it. Not knowing where the deep streams were, we searched high and low for a good while before finding ourselves back in the mushroom forest. Is this the big tree we was at? Yeah, with the gel sacks. Ah, oh, what are those? They look great in my base. Oh. That's a thing. So I think. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Deeper and deeper we went. We had yet to see any deep shrooms, which meant that we had to go to places that we had never been before. And this meant we were heading to the edge of the mushroom forest. I'm most concerned about the hot air balloon squid. And the electric, the electric thing. That thing. Or maybe just keep trying to keep away from that. It turns out that the hot air balloon squid head freaky fuckers were the least of our concerns. We should have been paying more attention to these electric eels. Oh, don't come this way. Don't come this way. Oh. Shit. Ah. Wait. Oh, this is so bad. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, 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 it's right above me. <laughs> and once again, I find myself with a complete lack of dignity, composure, and the will to carry on. Now, the question I'm asking, I'm not crying, is... Did that thing just pull me out of the sea moth, or did I panic press E? I panicked press E, but this time something was different. You see, there are only so many times you can display a flight reaction to a scare, mm. and so far it wasn't helping us at all. Maybe, just maybe, it was time to fight. I think that thing fucked me up to the point of not caring anymore. Yeah, fight it. Maybe, maybe these things communicate with each other to the point where they're like, they're saying, oh, this, this human that's swimming about, you bitch, maybe, maybe, maybe we just get the knife out and we just, maybe, maybe we, you know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, repair it. Shit! Oh! Fuck you, bitch! Ah! I just... 
Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, we need to repair. We need to repair the seam off. We need to repair the seam off. Shit! Where's my stasis gun? Shit! Are they deep shrooms? I think they might be. I think they might be. Yes! Oh, blood oil. What the fuck's blood oil? Go, okay, we get out of here. Nice to see you. To see you nice. To see you nice. To see you nice. Go home, go home, go home, go home. And just like that. And just like that. And not only did we make that electric eel our little bitch, we got ourselves some deep shrooms in the panic of it all happening. If that isn't composure, I don't know what is. From now on, you will refer to me as Captain Butch, the elite professional subnautica gamer. <laughs> I genuinely know. <laughs> that was fucked. I'm guessing I must, I must. Oh, that was, I, I must have panicked at E and jumped out. And the stasis rifle though, that came in, that came in kind of clutch. Right, what were we doing? We were getting the shrooms to get the something. Let's just remind ourselves real quick. That was it. The polyaniline and the wiring kit. Oh wait, I can craft this now because I have the easy, wait, can I craft it? Yes. For those of you that are asking, I have a, what's called, um, what, before I played Subnautica, I said to a pal, I was like, I'm going to play Subnautica, I think, for YouTube. And he was like, do these three mods. Map mod, which is what you see here, because a lot of people are wondering how I got that. Easy crafting mod, which means that if the resources are within the vicinity of 100 meters of a fabricator, it means you don't have to get the resource, put it in your inventory, go to the fabricator to craft something. It just does it automatically. So there you go. What the fuck is blood oil? Might be processing to Benzene, what's benzene? Anyway, perimeter defense system coming up. Where's Philippa? Yes! Right, take her off the storage and then we put in the defense system. Oh fuck yes. Wait, let me test it out on something. Fuck you! It's some fuck off. Oh, that's phenomenal. Oh, that's... Do you reckon I could do that to a Reaper? It feels like I have unlimited... Well, it has a timer thing on it. But I have like... It doesn't affect my health or damage or my energy. Hey, troops, get used to this noise because you are going to be hearing it an awful fucking lot. <laughs> yes. As it would turn out, this would be one of our most used upgrades, which will save us more times than I care to mention. What it couldn't save us from, however, was my own stupidity. Remember a while back we went to the Degazi habitat? Well, whilst I was scanning the water filtration machine, I got jump scared by a piece of paper. Get in. Oh no, I also have to go back up. Oh, my oxygen goes down so fast. Oh, oh it's paper. It's paper. <laughs> we never actually finished scanning the blueprint, so we decided to head back to the Degazi habitat to finish the scanning. Okay, okay, okay. The thing is, it, no, it, it can't be as scary as before because we've already been there. Oh! Shit on a stick. Oh, nah. We have lost all resilience I've built up. 
I wonder if there's like a, a muscle memory version of not being scared. And I'm going to quickly <laughs> get it back because right now I am acting an awful lot braver, braver than I feel. I'm not going to fuck about. I'm not going to fuck about. Where was it? It's further on. It's just over here, isn't it? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, wait. Where? Whoa, 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 where? No, yeah, down here. I... Oh. oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Don't hug about. <gasps> ah, no, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. You're brave, you're a big brave boy. Big fucking brave boy. Give me the sonar. It was down there. Okay, yeah, there's the sperm. One sperm, two sperm. He goes in there. If he goes in there, don't think, 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 don't think. We remember, there's the door. There's the door, 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 there's the door. We go, we go, we move, we move, we move, we move, we move, we go up, we go up, we go up, we stop. So watch out for the stinging dingleberries. We go straight in. We remember the rebreather that this time I am a professional Subnautica player. Oh. Oh my, the rush. Look, there's that fucking piece of paper that scared me as well last time. Yes! We got it. We actually have a little bit more time to explore now because um, I've got, I have uh, got I forgot to put the rebreather on last time. So let's just have a little look through here. Oh God. These ultra glide, ultra glide fins really do make it so that you uh, you yeet around everywhere. I, I, I definitely thought I didn't miss any PDAs, but you guys said that I did. Unless there's like another part to this which I didn't go to. Uh, we know they don't really hurt us, so that's okay. I can't believe the speed that we went in uh, into here. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, he's there! The sperm's there! Oh, you look great from a distance, but you're definitely pink close up. Oh, I think they might react to my flashlight. I don't know. Right, yeah, so we came in here. There's not... Can I get into that thing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We were there before. There's nothing. That's the bed. Yeah, you guys are lying to me, surely. I don't see no other PDAs. Is there anything on the outside? That looks like you can grab some... Like, that looks like a, a big thing. Like, the, the, the thing that we need another... Oh, he's chilling! He's chilling! <laughs> oh! Oh. oh, that fucked this, man. Nah, I'm done. I'm done. This game is fucked. End of the series. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. See? I let my guard down. I got cocky, became vulnerable, and almost started to enjoy myself. Let me tell you, enjoying this game is a mistake. The shit came out of me so fast I now have friction burns. However, we did manage to get what we came for, the water fabricator blueprint. We got the hell out of this cave and headed straight back home. We had been making steady progress in this game in terms of crafting and resources, but we were getting no closer to getting to the bottom of the alien species and the infection that we had. We needed to start exploring more of the radio signal locations. It was decided we would visit LifePod 12, which had a depth of 250 meters, as a warm-up to our attempt to head to the second Degazi habitat at a whopping 500 meters. We'll do, we'll do the 250. We're going to lube ourselves up before going in 500 meters. All right, so we have never been out this far east. I don't know what's out this far east. <laughs> I don't know what's... I don't know what's out this far east. Oh! What if that's a reef back mating call? Question. Which creature do you think has the biggest knob in Subnautica? 
probably the reef backs, right? Oh! Oh! This is shit. This is really fucking shit. We inched our way forward, getting closer to the life pod. But since we were going into a place that we hadn't been to before, a place of unknown, it set us on edge a little. I don't like this. I really don't fucking like this at all. Oh no. Oh, reef back. Two reef backs. Alright, they're friendly. We've touched one and we didn't die. Oh. Oh, I don't like standing on the glass there. Oh, shite bag. What are those? Oh no. Considering this was only 250 meters deep, it seemed incredibly dark and spooky. But we weren't going to get the life pod just by looking at it. We dove deeper. I'm in a bad way. I am in a bad, 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 bad way. Okay, okay, okay. Right, just got to get a little bit closer. Little bit closer. Whoa, 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 what's that? What's that? What creature? What creature? Was that the sand shark? Once I'd pulled my bollocks out from my stomach, we came up with a foolproof plan. This is what's gonna happen. Gonna click back to game. As they're gonna hold C. <laughs> so, we <laughs> so we drop all the way to the bottom and hope that there's nothing there. Okay, here we go. Three, <laughs> two, one. Go! Okay, 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 okay. Eel, eel, we've got an eel. What else is down here? Another creature behind me? Oh! Okay, 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 it's just down here. All right, okay, that'll do, that'll do. Turn the engine off real quick. Get to the Seamoth, get to the Seamoth. Imagine if I forgot it. Three, two, one. Why is it so dark? Oh, it's because I'm not out. <laughs> Panic! Fuck off, everybody! Okay, shit. How do I get in? How do I, how do I get in? Okay, wait for one more pulse and then we go. Three, two, one, go! Grab it, grab it. Anything else? No? Integrating new PDA <gasps> data. Okay, all right. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Go, go away, get away from here and never fucking come back. Let me in, 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 let me in. Woo! Space bar! Oh, it's plants! Why is it Why is it so dark? Quick! Quick, 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 quick! Go! Go! Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around! Oh, my neck. Just, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. 
Some people pride themselves on academic accomplishments. Some pride themselves on their Call of Duty KD. I pride myself on the ability to be unwavering in the face of adversity, composed under any circumstances. And given how successful that mission went, we didn't waste any time gearing up for a trip to the second Degazi habitat. The problem is, upon closer inspection of the map, we discovered well, I'll let you discover with me. Wait, are we on rendezvous dry land? We have we been there? Is that it? That wait a minute, that's not the fucking floating island, is it? At this point, all I could think about was the abyss below the floating island. Twice I had been there and each time the water underneath felt particularly deep. I didn't know if that was exactly where I was going, but knowing we were heading in that general direction meant that the fibres of my phalanges were tingling and not in a good way. Okay, fuck it. <clears throat> we sleep and then we go. We sleep and then we go, we sleep. <laughs> it's so deep there. We had arrived at the entrance. All we needed to do was give ourselves a pep talk and exit the Cyclops. We've just got to balls deep it. Oh my God, we've literally just got to squint, sprint and yeet down as fast as we can. Maintain all composure. Right, let's set this up. I, I want my propulsion cannon. I want my stasis rifle, and then maybe 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 the repair tool isn't a bad idea if we need to whip that out real quick. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, you just got to get him. Mhm. Mm we just got to go. We just got to go. We just got to go. Squint and sprint. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. You thinking about it? I can't. I can't do this. We are fucking 312 meters right now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can't do this. I can't do this. <sighs> it's fine. Let's press click. Click. And then it takes you. And then we just. Oh! <laughs> No! We're just gonna... <gasps> okay, we're just gonna keep doing this all the way down. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Down here, maybe. Okay, okay. What the fuck is this place? What is this place? Oh, they're here. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, there's a base. <gasps> it's a squid head. It's a squid head! How do I get in? Shit! Where's the door? The door's here! No, that's not a door! No! No! There's multiple! Oh no, I got out! I didn't mean to get out! How do I get in? Is it just there? Shit! Get in! Get in! Get in! Oh, am I safe? Am I safe? Am I safe? What the fuck is... Ketchup? No, wine. Okay, don't fuck about. A coffee machine? Shit, I need my scanner. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. <gasps> PDA. Okay. We've got a PDA. PDA data. A carryall. Okay, okay. Alright. Can I scan the, the whatever that is? No. Oh, what's this? Something good? Swim charge fins. Oh, okay. I don't like this. I do not like this in the slightest. Uh, that was everything, right? I do not... 
I do not want to have to come back here. We did have to come back here. You see, in my panic state, I didn't even realize that the Degazi habitat had another compartment. After discovering this once we had returned home, we had to come back just to explore the upper portion of the base. And it's a good job that we did. Oh, it's here. Look. Oh, oh, we're in, we're in. Oh. Wait, what the, f what's this? Oh, the alien could, <clears throat> the alien containment thing. Oh, it's huge. We oh, we could tot oh, we can 100% put that in the base. But all of this. Oh, there's that thing, the tailcoat man. He's like a praying mantis with long legs and a tailcoat. Oh, Cyclops shield generator as well. Very good, very good, very good, very nice. And a PDA. Oh! I have had it with you, risking our lives. Scotland. Oh, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. Oh. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torical has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you could hear me. Wait, was that the PDA? Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. Oh, that was the PDA. <laughs> Brace! Well, a very aptly named disaster there. And the American was trying to kill everything. Oh, creature egg. The Scotsman was trying to beat up the American, and the Brit was trying to be diplomatic, telling them that everything else, everybody else was wrong. That definitely sounds true to life. There's a lot of microscopes and shit in here, and another PDA. Risk taken. Let's listen to this one as well. Come on. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. Okay, what Margaret. Are you so happy about Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a Leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. What? That thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Uh, dragging a, Levi a Leviathan. Dragging a Leviathan. Okay, right. I think I'm just going to head back now. I don't really want to explore here too much. I know I'm capable of it, so we can, we can, we can maybe come back another time. Oh, but for now, let's just see if we can get home. It was then that we saw something, something that can only be called nightmare fuel. I can't describe to you how this made me feel. I've been scared by the ocean, sperm snakes, sheets of paper, and ampules, but this was completely unexpected. Where's the, where's the Cyclops? Where's the Cyclops? Where's the... <gasps> what the fuck is... No, no, no. I've got goosebumps. What the fuck was that nightmare fuel? <gasps> Thank you.
I should leave. I should leave. What is it? Where did it where did it go? What what was that? No, it's gone. No, I I have heebie jeebies. I have big, 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 big heebie jeebies. I have big willies. You know what I mean, but yeah, Ed. Go, just go. What was that? It was like... Like a... Fuck it, I don't know, like big... Big legs, like... It, War of the Worlds kind of vibes from that thing. You know, you ever seen the War of the Worlds with the big long legs and shit like that? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Like, oh... It's difficult to... The, the problem is when I get scared sometimes, um... You, 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 I don't vocalize and I don't communicate with how I'm feeling and obviously you guys can only see so much I have like I had <laughs> Instant goosebumps literally instant goosebumps when I saw that That thing was nightmare fuel Let me tell you boys and girls. I am not going back there in a hurry Sphincters clenched the whole way we headed back to the base Whilst in the Degazi habitat, some of the more attentive viewers will have noticed that I picked up an orange tablet and a creature egg. We had an alien creature egg and we had an alien containment. You see where this is going. The all eggs look like that. What oh, that fucker's looking at me? Ooh, and an orange one. We've seen pink ones before, we ain't seen an orange one. Did we just make a progression? I really don't want to make a bigger base, guys. I know that it's possible, and I know some people have said, Hey, Butch, why don't you make a bigger base and add some stuff to it? Quite frankly, I am totally okay with it being this size. And another thing that I see is, why don't you remove some of the wall planters so you can build the corridors into other rooms? Or why don't you put like one of the glass domes on top? And I'm like, the whole point of this room and the whole reason why I feel so comfortable in it is because I can't see the ocean behind it. If I could, I would have a door there so I didn't have to look out of there. I like not seeing the sea. I like not being able to see outside. It's like, just it just feels safer when it's like this. Right, alien containment. Five gla- Oh my lord, it is fucking huge. Oh, oh my god. It's massive. No, I'm gonna do it. I don't I don't wanna build any more. I am gonna deconstruct these. We will put them back. Have no fear. No fear at all. We are gonna put them back. That is absolutely massive. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien forms. Uh. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. It's a massive fish tank. <laughs> Wait, do I go inside? <gasps> I'm in the fish tank. No fucking way. No fucking way. So I just literally then... Look, it's throbbing. Let me tell you, the egg wasn't the only thing that was throbbing. I couldn't believe how much progress we had made. And things only got better when we checked on the water zoo a little while later. Is that it? I have not seen you before. Wait a minute. Is it going to hurt me if I go in? Cuddle fish. A small grey coloured herbivore, the cuddlefish displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity and attachment. Strangely, the species is not being encountered in the wild and the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched in the alien contaminant unit. 
In the absence of wild specimens, little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's life cycle. It is possible the environment conditions have changed, forcing the species to the edge of extinction and leaving its eggs in a permanent stasis. It is also possible that the cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported to 456b, that's our planet, from another world. We do know that the cuttlefish is a herbivore which displays highly social behaviour in its interspecies interactions, as was observed in Earth dolphins before their extinction. Dolphins went extinct? Wait, did humans? Let's not worry about that. This creature seems to understand the concept of other minds, the prime indicator of true sentience, and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirrups. Evidence suggests the cuttlefish is capable of understanding and following simple commands in addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind. Assessment, emotional connection between living creatures is essential component of psychology. Have I got a pet? Can I pick you up? I don't want to eat you. Hello! <laughs> Oh, I need to think of a name. Um, oh, cuddlefish. Do we do something? C. Um, let's ask Siri. Hey Siri, give me a random name. Randomness. Rambo. Rambo the Cuddlefish! Hey, what's going on Rambo? Listen, it is a pleasure to have you here. I kind of feel bad that you're kind of all alone with your own species. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's another one that we can find. A short while later, however, we received somewhat of a mood-killing radio signal. Why not treat ourselves? Oh, radio signal! Partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. <sighs> I've got actual fucking goosebumps. Partial unaccounted targets for one. Is that me? Could that perhaps be me? <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> I, what? Whatever that was sounded... Oh, scary. Heebie-jeebies, man. I got the heebie-jeebies. Markiplier, help me out, man. <laughs> Let me sleep. Oh, Seriously, what the fuck was that, man? We had reached the point in the game where we had most of the upgrades, but there were two particular resources that we had not come across which we desperately needed, Nickel and Crystalline. The search for these two components would shape what would become the most sensational and batshit crazy ending to our story. We had never seen Nickel and Crystalline which meant that we had yet to discover where they were located. This meant that we had to start going out into the unknown to places we hadn't been. And so begins our descent into madness as we took a gander in a random direction. Okay, that's just a sand shark. Not sand shark, dragon shark. I don't really know what we call them. What's down there? No, we need to go north. Piss off. Don't even fucking try it. I like abusing the creatures of this planet. Right. Everyone piss off. Ooh, Ruby. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, this isn't great. This is not great. <laughs> Look, that's got green shit on it. Yeah. 
Please, please, please piss off. Please piss off. Please piss off. Oh, no, no, no. I can't. I can't. Uh, there's too much above me. There's too... I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't. This is fucked. This is... Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I don't I don't really fucking I really don't shit. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh no. Sometimes you just have to take a little break, compose yourself, and then get straight back into it. I don't know what that ore is on there. Um, I just need to, like, fully commit. I'll think about it. Three, two, one. Fully commit, fully commit, fully commit, fully. Don't stop committing. Don't stop committing. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Where am I? Seriously, where the fuck am I? What the fuck is this? Oh, is that crystalline sulfur? It is, it is, it is. Where are we? How did we get here? Those of you with keen eyes or the ability to read, will have indeed noticed that that was not crystalline, but in fact, piss crystals. Remember, when panicked, I have a tendency to overlook things. <gasps> oh! What the fuck are they? just need crystalline sulfur. I need more of it. Relax, relax, relax. Remember to talk. You're making a YouTube video. You need to talk. It's kind of the whole point of the videos. Don't tell me that's the only... Piss off! Don't tell me that's... <gasps> please go away, man. Come on, please. Please go away. I need to repair. I need to repair. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Hmm. Let's just move forward. Don't see any more crystalline. Oh! 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 What? Are these things allergic to my um my zapper? This is a this is a graveyard. Oh. Okay. Three. Oh, it's oh, it's hot. Oh no. Oh, it's hot. No. Okay. We need that. Do we? We need the reinforce suit. Okay. Fuck it. We need the reinforce suit. Piss off. We're going home, we're going home, we're going home, we're going home. We're going home. Oh, 
could bring the prawn suit down there. I could bring the prawn suit down here. We had accidentally found, as we would learn its name later, the Lost River. And we would indeed be returning here with the prawn suit many more times. There was absolutely nothing inviting about this place, however, so we spent as little time as possible here before heading back home. And on the way home, we ended up at the base of a large tree. Its twisting and winding rooted canals were a labyrinth in of themselves, but at the bottom lay the treasure of another cuttlefish egg. Rambo would now have a friend. And speaking of Rambo... Oh, we need to plant the cuttlefish. Let's do that. Let's plant the cuttlefish. Hello, everybody. Hello, my children. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, who was it? Some people were saying that we take the cuttlefish and we put them outside. See if this thing floats away and you've all just been trolling. I will fume. Wait, what? Play with fish? No fucking way! Oh! I just high-fived an alien! Have another biscuit! Where am I getting these biscuits from? Oh my god! Wait, do you follow me? Oh, it doesn't follow me. Wait, does it? He follows me! Rambo! Wait, do you want to... Wait, will you die if I go away? No, I want to keep you safe. I can't wait, I can't pick you up. <laughs> it was time to boot up again. As much as we loved being able to high-five Rambo, we needed to focus on the task at hand. We crafted the reinforced dive suit, made sure we had everything we needed to survive, then headed back out to the big hole, ready to explore the Lost River one more time. Let's do it. Come on. No more fucking about. Ugh. <sighs> I hope this thing's strong. Oh my god. Let's just go. <gasps> oh! No, 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 no. Fuck me. This is where I was, right? This is where I was, right? I think. I have no control. <gasps> okay, maybe not so fast. Maybe not so fast. <laughs> Okay, we don't think. We squint and we sprint. We squint and we sprint. Sorry, my mouth, my mic is literally in my mouth right now. We're just gonna. Did I save the game? Let me save the game just in case. <sighs> okay, okay. <gasps> no. Oh. <sighs> Wait, I can only go down another 400 meters. Oh shit, shit, shit. Okay, 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 ready? What is this place? What is this? Oh no. I can only go another like 250 meters. I can't scan it. Oh no, I can't. Okay, we, we a thousand percent need the depth module for this.
<gasps> That's not sand! <gasps> what is it? How deep is it? Did I... Muddy water? Oh, it's not very deep at all. Quartz. It's... It's... Gas? Okay. But you know what? This is okay. They're not okay. That's not okay at all. Whatever the fuck they are, it's not okay. But the fact it's a cave is slightly better. Right, okay. You know what? We're gonna leave. Even though I don't feel like we've achieved anything, we will make it our absolute priority in the next episode to get the depth module for this. So we can get a proper proper good explore. Oh, if only we knew that just a small trip down into the abyss would lead me to what I so desperately desired. But you see, I am an idiot. An idiot with such a strong sense of self-preservation that I will do anything to avoid going into places which could cause death, trauma, or a concoction of the two. Instead, we went back home we were operating under the assumption that the crystalline and nickel, which we needed for the depth module for the prawn suit, were in an area we hadn't been to. So, to cross another one off the list, we decided to go back to the floating islands. As we descended deeper into the abyss, we spied the wreckage that we were going to return to on top of one of the islands. And there's an interesting juxtaposition with these floating islands. Staring deep into the abyss with no reference points is absolutely terrifying and I have spoke about this many times in this playthrough. You would think that having the islands there as a reference point would alleviate some of the fear, but in truth they only reinforce the depths of the ocean underneath me. As I descended I felt like things were squirming under my skin, my toes curling in protest of going down deeper. Unfortunately for us, even though we did find the doorway, there were no prawn suit propulsion arm fragments that we were hoping for. But this was okay. Remember, the objective was secondary to the main mission of finding nickel or crystalline. So we pushed forward against the will of our soul and went deeper. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my. This is deep. This is really deep. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh. Is that... No, that's an island. It's just an island. Okay. But well, it's not okay, actually. It's not okay. But it's not a reaper. Go away, please. I don't think we have ever looked directly down into something this deep before. And when I say it made me wappy, it made me wappy. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Yes! What? Oh, fuck me, right? Just go, just go. That's a sign. <laughs> Ah! Oh. oh, no. No. Oh, no! Rambo! Fuck! Oh, it's a mistake, right? Ancient floater. Have <laughs> I dropped a few ancient floaters in my time? <laughs> Biodata suggests these vast floaters <laughs> have matured in an indigenous symbi symbiosis with the land and they attach to. Race of the water, increasing sunlight, encouraging plant growth. Imm uh, immature floaters. Ah, no, 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 I can't use my thing. Ah, ah, no. Oh! Why was that so much scarier? Oh, 
Oh. I don't know why that scared me as much as it did. Perhaps it was the unexpected change in colour that triggered my internal alarm bells. Still, it was nothing compared to what happens later in the video. We headed back up to the Cyclops and decided to descend down in her instead. Oh, no, 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 it's, I don't, I really just didn't like it when it went blue, and I thought it's difficult to describe why I didn't like it, I just didn't, I, the, my crush depth of this is only 900 meters as well, okay, keep next to the wall so we have reference, keep next to the wall so we have reference, keep, <laughs> Oh my god, there better be nickel down there. Oh. Oh, am I stuck? Okay, not, not that close to the wall. Besides these dragon sharks, there was nothing down here. A moment of celebration, perhaps. Yes, there were no reapers, but there was also no nickel or crystalline. We squirmed our way along the ocean floor to no avail. Our journey was going to have to take us somewhere else. Somewhere we hadn't been before. And on the way back, a thought popped into my head. This was not a welcome thought, and one that I have no understanding of how it got there. It was outrageous. It was stupid. It was the most unlike Butch thought that has ever existed in the synapses of my brain. If I make this, I commit to it. Oh. Oh, you guys can't see. I have cool goosebumps. Um, I, I'm, I can't believe I'm about to say this or think about it or even consider, consider this. So, I'm trying to find nickel and crystalline. I don't want to Google it. Unless I absolutely have to. So I'm going through a process of elimination about where I can find it. It has to be somewhere that we haven't been. I, I, I'm trying to avoid going deep, deep, deep. Because I, I just, I know it's going to be a horrendous experience to me. So I'm going to areas I haven't been yet. Where's one place that I haven't been? We, we've been on the Aurora. We haven't been at the, at the bottom of the Aurora, but obviously the Reaper's there. I I need to. I'm gonna go kill the Reaper. Oh, I said it. I've got to do it. I need to go. If I'm gonna search around the bottom of the fl the floor properly, I can't be pussyfooting about. Oh shit, I can't believe I'm going to do this. The plan was set. Revenge. We wanted to dispose of the Reaper to be able to freely search the area for nickel and crystalline. Revenge. It was time to face my foe for the second time and the last time. Revenge. I couldn't survive another encounter like we had previously snuck up and attacked in the back. I needed to face this one head on. Revenge. The plan was to load up the Seamoth with the Vortex torpedoes. It could hold a total of six torpedoes, an amount which I hoped would ensure that the Reaper would perish. After crafting the torpedo holders on the Seamoth, as well as the six Vortex torpedoes, we mustered what courage we could. We said our goodbyes to Markiplier and Rambo and turned in the direction of the Reaper. I did not know if I would return. I did not know if I would make it emotionally or physically. And I did not realise that in the next short while I would lose a dear, dear friend.
I did not think I'd be going here voluntarily again. I'm genuinely a little bit scared. Fuck it. Shit, shit, shit. It goes that fucking hazy beige. Here it is. Here comes the hazy beige. Okay. 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 Ooh. Where are you? I'm really not happy. <sighs> the Aurora's right fucking there. Ugh! There she is, there she is. There she is. <sighs> oh, she's so big. What's the range on these? What's the range on these torpedoes? <sighs> oh, okay, there she is. There she is. I need you to stay still. Oh my lord! I can't do this. Oh, oh, oh! She's there. She's there. She, is she coming? Fire! Wrong one! <gasps> Die! I missed. Oh, no, I hit. Please tell me these actually do damage and they're not just like a portable graph trap. Oh, she's coming. There she is. Oh, I'm just gonna get closer. Oh, wrong button. Oh, no. Oh, I pre fired. Oh, no. Fire! Shoot! Fire! Oh no! Where is she? Kill it! Please hit! What are you doing? You can fly! You can fly! Why are these not hitting? I'm mean, initially defeated! No! Uh, ah! Go, 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 go! No, 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 no! She's gone. Okay. That slippery knob may have won the battle. I was down, but I was not defeated. We needed to try a different approach. It was time to take lawn fruit for a spin. Yes, this might have been more dangerous given the lower maneuverability of the prawn suit, but what it did have over the Seamoth is that we could double the number of torpedoes we could use. We could add two torpedo arms, giving us a total of 12 pedos. We also decided to give the gas torpedoes a go as opposed to the vortex ones. It took us a while to figure out where the gas pods were, and imagine my surprise when a sea cow squits them out. With the prawn suit fully loaded with the torpedoes, it was time to head back out. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. Has it seen me? Has it seen me? It's pathing's all fucked up. Oh. oh. Wait. Ready? 
As soon as I hit it, it's gonna get. Oh, fire! Fuck! Keep firing! Shit, there's a cooldown! Fuck! It's flying again! It's flying again! It's flying again! Oh. How many did I use? How many did I lose? Shit, I missed. Oh god. I literally need to wait for it to attack me. Oh, I'm a sitting duck. I'm a sitting duck. I'm a sitting duck. Oh, it's so big. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I can't I can't shoot until it literally comes at me in a straight line. I don't know how many bullets I have left. Fuck. I don't dare shoot. I don't want to miss. Oh, here it comes, 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 here. <laughs> no, no, no! I don't want to do Oh no! Depleted! Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I have an idea. I have a stupid idea. Like, a really fucking stupid idea. Uh, shit. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Die! Please, no! Please, no! Die! Am I damaging it? I don't even know! God! Shit! Whoa! Repair, quick. Repair tool, repair tool. I am genuinely lightheaded. that you see that <laughs> oh the reaper and i had many more battles we were locked horns and facing each other for a total of two and a half hours in real life Equally matched in strength, dexterity, and the will to win, this was a battle of chess, a battle of wits, a battle of survival. Like the epic battles in history, this will become legend. Dumbledore and Voldemort, Mufasa and Gravity, Qui-Gon One and Anakin Kenobi, Butch and the Reaper. No matter how hard I tried, the Reaper kept breathing, kept fighting back. But I will not quit. I will never quit. It was clear that Braun was not going to win this battle. I needed to outsmart her, use my elite gamer knowledge and trick her into her demise. I needed to come up with something that would once and for all beat this horned, slippery knob. The plan I came up with was a wild one. One which might just win this war. But at what cost? I'm gonna... <clears throat> I'm gonna attempt to kill her with the biggest thing that I have. The biggest weapon, the Cyclops. Here's the plan. We take all of our spare torpedoes and we put them in the Seamoth. We then take the Cyclops out and ram her with the shield thing on. Okay, we're going for it. We're going for it. Ah. Ah. Where's she at? 
Let me ram you. Oh, no bueno. No bueno. No bueno. Fuck! Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not going well. No. We, uh... Fuck. Oh, there's the tr creature decoy. <gasps> Is it attacking me? Oh, I'm at 50%. <sighs> I don't know if I can kill it. I don't think it's possible to kill it. It's still at me. Oh, fuck you. No, we don't. We don't do this. Uh, where are you at? Come at me. Uh, quick. Get in. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I kill it? Fire at will. Fire at will! Fire! These are definitely hitting it. I don't know if it's killing it. Get in, get in. This got we I think we have more. Shoot! Come on, come on, come on. Am I out? Shit. Stay where you are, stay where you are, stay away. Oh no. Do I have the spare? Stay where you are. Oh shit, that's hurting me. I need to fucking put these in. One, two, three. <laughs> It's on, it's on. Oh shit, that was the flashlight. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Fuck. Why won't you die? Eleven! Oh shit, run. Just run, just run. Just run. Which way, which way? Where's home, where's home? This is it. Surely, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please die. Wait, did you die? No, you're still moving. Please, just fucking die. Oh, it's dead. Is it dead? We 
did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, we killed it. Oh, we need to get a picture of this for the picture frame. Ready? Big smiles, you massive knob. I was victorious. I had done it. I had proved myself as a worthy opponent to the Reaper. She was no more. Seldom have I had battles like that in my life. The last time I battled that hard with anything was when I had two bowls of bran flakes and a can of monster. My insides turned into a pressurized McFlurry machine. We had become so obsessed, so encapsulated with the quest of killing the Reaper that we had forgotten why we went there in the first place to look for Nickel and Crystalline. But that almost seemed irrelevant at this point. Everything was irrelevant at this point. Except, well, now we had quite the new addition to our home. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking getting dead. That, that is a picture I will always remember. Beautiful. Beautiful. Every battle is not without its sacrifices. We had lost someone very dear to us today. Someone irreplaceable. And someone whom without we would have not succeeded in our quest to kill the Reaper. Goodbyes are never easy. We tend to remember them more than the hellos. Goodbyes are so final, so abrupt. They are the markers of separation and the finishing of chapters. But all good things must come to an end. So let us remember some of the good times. The best times. Let's not look forward to a life without her, but look back on a life filled with her. Yes, some might say she's an inanimate object, but to me, she was a symbol of safety, of progression, of friendship. Boys and girls, I would ask that you rise to your feet as we say a final few words. Philippa, you were... You were with us from almost the very, very beginning. From the early days of the shallows to getting eaten by a reaper for the first time. You died with bravery and dignity. Because of you, we were able to kill the big knob. And whilst you may not be here for the rest of our days, I can promise you, I can promise you, Philippa, you will always be remembered. Rest in peace, Philippa. Rest in peace. We couldn't mourn for long. We had a job to do, and we had lost Philippa in the search for Nickel and Crystalline. You'd be damned if she was going to die in vain. We quickly crafted another sea moth named Salad and headed back to the Lost River. This time, however, we were determined to go deeper than before. <laughs> Actual twat. <sighs> oh. My God, that snuck up on me then. What's this? Holy... Fuck. Is it safe? Is it safe? What are they? Drop down, drop down. I'm not, I'm scared of that warp rib on my head. What is that? Question. Will I die if I leave the prawn suit? Answer. No. No. 
What the fuck? Oh! Bones. <sighs> Is that like... No, there's a floor underneath this. I've got to be brave. I have to do it. There could be crystalline down here. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Wait. What's underneath it? Oh. Please don't be a monster. Oh. Elusive crystalline was now in my grasp. All we needed was nickel, so we pushed further into the cave. What in God's name is that? Oh, it's a reaper. No, the reaper didn't have a head like that. At this moment, it dawned on us, there were more Leviathan-class lifeforms on this planet. <gasps> it's translucent and shiny. Braver men than I would have persevered further into the cave, but I have reached my limit and there was no way I could face another battle with a massive fish this soon after the reaper encounter. Instead, we went home, picked up salad, and returned a short while later. We descended deeper into the cave. The ease of maneuverability in the sea moth helped us avoid danger as we went deeper and deeper. The mysteries that were held in the lost river were soon exposed. We found skeletons of ancient, long-dead leviathans, a force field with what appeared to be a terminal that could be used with an orange tablet, and we even found an alien facility. This facility housed a multitude of scannable things which gave us all kind of insights into aliens. But I just wanted nickel. I didn't have to wait too much longer though, as eventually we found a big tree, and lurking in its smoky depths, Nickel? <gasps> Nickel! Oh! Hallelujah, we finally had Nickel, and not wasting a second, we yeeted back home, where we were able to craft the Mark II depth module for the prawn suit, as well as the jump jet upgrade. Keeping the momentum of our progression and successes moving forward, we also managed to begin building the Neptune rocket provides a stable service from which to launch the Neptune. How the fuck do I get the Neptune? Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh. Oh. My. God. It is absolutely massive. Holy. Oh, oh, oh. I was not expecting it to be this big. Whoa, that's where the rocket goes, I suppose. Oh. Are we about to find out how to make the rocket? I have legitimate goosebumps. Wait, wait, what? Neptune gantry? We've got to make a gantry. Plasteel ingot and copper wire. The confusion etched onto my face was resulted in the fact that these resources were relatively easy to get. Was this the end? Was the game now going to give me a merciful ending by allowing me to build this rocket without a hitch? No, 
absolutely fucking not. In fact, it got so much worse. Okay, Neptune Gantry supports the rocket during construction. Plastial ingot, copper wire lubricant, construct. Oh, little bit of 80s rock in there. Oh my god. You're a gantry. That is huge. <laughs> How does that only need one titanium ingot? Explain that to me. Oh! Oh! <gasps> no fucking way! Wait, how is this powered? I don't need batteries for this, do I? Oh my god, look at this! What's that? We can see for miles! There is literally fucking nothing here. Ooh. Do I? Well, how do I actually, how do I build the rocket? Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we actually fucking died. <laughs> I just turned into an Olympic athlete halfway down there. Yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> I fucking swan dived into that, man. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that from another perspective. Okay, nice. Well, we've done it. I've done already. Oh, wait. Maybe it'll tell us here now what we can build next. Oh, Neptune boosters. Experimental boosters. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can do this. A plastic ingot, two aerogel, and a wiring kit. Let's do it. Indeed, another simple craft. The phrase being lulled into a false sense of security is particularly relevant here. Um... This is the last of the nickel ore. Is it? Fuck me. Please don't make me go back. I mean, I know I have to go back, but... I don't have to go as far as that tree. Oh no, I do have to go as far as the tree. That's probably the nickel. Never mind, we have to get it either way. Okay. Okay, let me do it now, please. Construct. Holy shit. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting shivers. It's big. Oh, it's really fucking big. It's got feet. And the boosters. Uh, we, hurry up, hurry up, bots. I want to inspect. Oh my, oh my god. Two thirds of the rocket had now been built. There was one left, one more craft, and we could get out of here. It's such a shame what we had to go through to get these. Oh, lady! Fuck off, man! You're such a vibe killer. I've literally just made half of a rocket ship, and you're like, seek fluid intake. Twat. What's next, do we reckon? Kyanite and an ion power cell. I had no clue what these were or where to find them. We were so close, yet so far. It was now clear that we were going to have to push our limits to finish this rocket. And these limits would be tested back in the Lost River. Let's not make this any more dramatic than it needs to be. We headed back out towards the Lost River in search for the Kyanite and the Ion Power Cell. And let's go back. Oh, fuck it. Don't even, don't even, don't even build it up. Narration butch. Don't even build it up. Just let it happen. Let it happen. Well, you can fuck off. This is my house now. Viewers, it is time. Time to go deeper than we have ever been. Down into a volcanic region. The last time I was this deep, I had your mum over for dinner. This was bravery of the highest echelon. True dedication and true commitment. Some people might crumble at the thought of facing their own fears, but not me. No, I am YouTube's new and shiniest subnautica toy. Not only 
do I have bollocks of steel. I have something even more powerful. The YouTube algorithm. Behind me are thousands of people screaming at their screens in support of me. And I'm definitely not sadistic knobs who enjoy watching me torture myself. No, that could never happen. Yeeting back towards the Degazi habitat, we climbed into the lawn fruit and dropped into the abyss. Swinging like Spider-Man Shag Tarzan and had an ambidextrous kid, I yeeted back into the Lost River and evaded the ghost leviathan and his skeletal prickly fish friends. In the pursuit of Kyanite, not knowing where it could be, but knowing we had to go deeper, we navigated to the back of the cave towards the glowing tree. Here, we gathered some more nickel and stowed it in the lawn fruit. Behind, we found what appeared to be the entrance to the deeper regions of the cave. What is that? Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh. Is this the lava zone? It was. This place was hot, dark, and ominous in its aura. I didn't like it one bit. Slowly but surely, we creeped our way further into the cave, getting deeper and deeper. After a short while, nothing had jumped at us, and our confidence grew ever so slightly. Keeping our eyes peeled, the cave began to open up, and we found what we were looking for. Oh, it's red. Very red here. Very, very red. Oh! Kainite! Is that Kainite? It has to be! Oh! I would like to go home. We filled every orifice we had with kyanite, stuffing it into every nook and cranny on our persons. Using this as an excuse not to push any further, we went back home and it was a good job we did. We now could craft the final depth module for the prawn suit. This meant we could now go a whopping 1700 meters deep in the protection of the prawn suit. This left one final item to obtain, one final piece of the puzzle, one final adventure. Or so we thought. We slapped the prawn suit into the Cyclops and headed back out. This journey back to the Lost River felt different. It felt like the final step. After all that we had been through, it really did feel as if this journey was the last big obstacle. It wasn't dissimilar to Harry walking towards the Forbidden Forest one last time to face his foe, Voldemort, knowing that if he achieved his goal, he would save his friends and family. I was walking to my Forbidden Forest, the Lost River, to face off with my foe, the Ocean, all to finish the game and save my neighbours from having to listen to any more squeals and screams. Come on. Come on, come on. We have come so fucking far. I wonder if I can get the Cyclops down this bit. Oh, Jesus Christ. When, when you... <laughs> When you think about how wappy we were when we first jumped off the life pod, like, 22 episodes ago. To what we do, what we... God! Whoa, that got me. <laughs> That's, uh... Nah, I don't like this view. I prefer um, this. I prefer this one. Um, yeah, and thinking about what we're going into doing now, it's been a... It's been a journey. Meter by meter. We jump jetted and swung our way to the glowing tree. We've got loads of nickel, loads of kyanite. I mean, if I get the chance, I might pick up some more kyanite. Uh, I don't really know what else we'd need it for, though. Again, it's just the unknown of what that third, if even the third part is the last part of the rocket. Pushing further on, 
we found the entrance to the lava zone. Having been here previously, we had a growing sense of confidence. If we could just find our way to the Kyanite, we knew it would be reasonably safe. Beyond that point, however, we had no idea. Okay, recharge. And drop. Got a warper there, that's fine. Shit. Okay. We're back, we're back, we're back. There will be certain points in this journey that we will look back on as milestones. Building the base, going to the Aurora for the first time, finding Markiplier. What happens next will be one of them. This is what we call a core memory. A memory which is embedded into our brains that we will carry for the rest of our lives. The reason core memories occur is they are irrevocably attached to an emotion, whether these be positive or negative. For example, one of my core memories is that time I ate 14 Weetabixes in one sitting. What a king I felt like that day. But this memory, this memory will forever be attached to one incredibly strong emotion. Fear. Ooh, I don't like this. Fuck me sideways. Sideways and call me Susan. Oh. Okay. Keep to the edges. Keep to the edges. Oh. oh, I actually feel a little bit sick. Fourteen hundred meters down here, maybe. Yeah, down here. Come on. 1273, the deepest we've been. More kyanite. Guessing this way? I presume. Oh. That didn't sound like a... Like the earth. <gasps> oh. What in God's name is that? Oh, actually, I'm really fucking lightheaded. Yeah, I have no idea what I said at the beginning of that sentence either. But the Reaper, albeit very scary, had a level of familiarity to it, like a massive water snake. The ghost leviathan was a product of a love hug between a worm and a hammerhead shark. Even the reef bats resembled jellyfish. But this, whatever in God's name this was, had no reference. It was completely unexpected and absolutely terrifying. What the fuck? What was I thinking? Of course there's gonna be fucking something down here at the last part of the game. Of course. But seriously... What in... Oh! Oh! Oh my god! What is it? It's got hands! And tentacles. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I'm sorry! That's so loud! I'm fucked. I can't do this. There's no way in hell. Oh no, I can't do this. No, stop. You can do it. 
I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Oh! Does it see me? Does it see me? How the... How the... Not, not the time, not the time. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no! No, please. Run! No, 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 I'm stuck. No, I can't do it, I can't, I can't, I can't. Fuck, why is it in that wrong button? Shit! Oh. <laughs> Fuck off, man! Yeah, yeah, just down there, I don't care. Anywhere. Oh, oh my god. Dear. What the. Did it. Oh, there's another one! Why is there another one? Oh, an Ellie facility. Say the game. Oh, this is so stressful. There's a, a thing looking in there that I... That I need to... But what's that thing? Is this it? Oh, no, you again! Mario Kart Inc. Help me. H help me by killing that thing. Okay, wait. Okay. I don't know what that thing is. Do we need to get to that? But I'm gonna go for that, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna swing round this side. We just gotta go, we just gotta go. Am I gonna die if I hit in the hitting that? We mustered all of the courage that we had and leapt into the open. Okay, okay, okay. How many of them are there? Whatever it is. Is that Kyanite just looking slightly different in the in the light? Or is that an ultra special thing? Because it's like unicorn coloured. No, it's, it's still Kyanite. Okay, we've got to go for it. Is this standable bolt on? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to drag me out. Not now, not ever. Swinging our way closer and closer, we landed on the shore of the facility. Oh, oh god, just get in here. What is this place? Oh, it's there. He's 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 there. Hey, let me in. Let me in. Let me in, please. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're in. We're in. Oh. Oh, Cupid. Oh no, can he get in? Look at him. Oh, 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 am I okay? Am I okay? He can't get me. No, he can't get me. Oh god, don't be orange. Oh, oh no. Are you sitting down? Popping a squat. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Um, if this is another colour than purple, I'm actually gonna cry. Don't be orange. Please be purple. Blue. Devastation. Desperation. And dicks. This game had just got his dick out and slapped my soul. We had thought we were doing something good. Thought we were finally making progress. Only to discover we didn't have what we needed to get through the door. I was genuinely crushed at this. The only thing that gets me through the uncomfort of moving into the unknown is hope hope that you might just find what you were looking for now the only hope that i had
was that I would somehow be able to find my way out of here and past that nightmare monster. I opened myself up to the, the possibility that we were going to we were going to do it first time. The blue tablet. There is always one more thing, one more item to get. And today, that one thing was a blue tablet. Our disappointment was so great, it began to numb our fear. We managed to exit this mysterious facility, sneak past the nightmare monster, and head back the way we came in search of the blue tablet. My thought process was this. We hadn't come across anything that alludes to a blue tablet of any kind anywhere else in the game. In my hastiness and desperation to avoid anything that would scare me, warp me, eat me or anything like the aforementioned, there was a high probability that I would have missed something on my way down. Something obvious. This place was at the end of a tunnel, as far as I could see. It was end game, there was nothing beyond it. The plan was to retrace our footsteps and see if we could find anything that looked like it would give us information about the blue tablet. Have I come from that way? No, I came from this way. Did I? I don't know. Fuck it. Run! Oh! Oh shit. I hate this. I fucking despise this. I didn't repair. It's got me, it's got me, it's got me, it's got me. No. Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, I'm nearly dead. 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 Hide. It can't get me underneath here, surely. Surely. Surely, 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 surely. Surely. Surely, surely. It can't get me here. Luck is what happens when opportunity meets preparation. I was prepared to do anything it took to get me away from the nightmare monster. So when an opportunity presented itself, I was more than ready to jump at it. <gasps> Look! Oh! Oh god, oh no no no, please, not now, come on, come on, L let me, let me up, let me up! Oh, fuck my life. Okay, rest, 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 go, 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 go. What is this? Is this endgame shit? Oh. What the fuck is that? The volcanic rock which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3000 Earth years ago. We had found a secret entrance buried in the stone mountain. Exploring further in, we discovered that there was another alien facility at the end. It appeared to be that this was some sort of power facility. There were even little alien robots scuttling about, scrambling over the walls. But most importantly, there was a blue tablet. Erections all round, we couldn't believe our gamble to explore the cave had paid off. What we weren't expecting, however, was the ion power cell blueprint that we received from a data download. With our newly found blue tablet and knowledge of the iron cell, we made our way back to the green gate and open the force field with the blue tablet. This led us into a huge facility. This one was obviously different to the others. While most of the facilities had an industrial feel to them, this one had a ceremonial type of feel. Whatever this place was, it was important. There were several mysterious items housed in the main atrium of the facility. Katanas, bombs and other mysterious artifacts. There were also a number of rooms which branched out from the atrium, each with a teleportation gate. By placing an ion cube in each gate, 
we were able to explore each location and discover where they went. Luckily, one of the gates led us to a secret cave in the mushroom forest, just a few hundred meters from our base. This meant that we wouldn't have to travel back home with through the Lost River, a convenience we took immediate advantage of by going back home to craft a blue tablet. You see, there was one main entrance in the alien facility that was blocked off by a force field with a blue tablet. Once we placed it in the device, the door opened and everything would change. Okay. Okay. What is beyond this? It's going in. Blue's going in. Oh. Wait, what? Hold on, let me get the prawn suit. Oh! oh. No! No! I don't know what's underneath there! My lord! Hmm. Please don't be deep. 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 Don't be deep. Don't be deep. <laughs> oh! Wait, what? Wait, what? Ah! No! What the fuck? Uh, you're the thing! No! Others came here once. Oh. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Now they're gone. And instead... Please don't... Can you give me the cure? I'm curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Oh, you're a sea emperor. What do you mean fight against who? What? Are you? I'm. Confu I'm confused about whether you're friendly or not. I, do I have to go down here? Wait. Okay. If I come down here, will you hurt me? Oh. I was not expecting this at all. Oh. Eggs. If I get out. Yeah. I thought that as well, lady. Okay, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. Okay, lady, look, I'm just putting an ion cube. He oh! Oh! Do you want me to put one here? Scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plant-like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by... Is the that the vaccine? Oh, okay. Wait, what do you want me to scan? Incubator. Oh! I can save your species! By putting the cube here. Here you go. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. To play. Okay. That thing. If you help us, I will give you freely the the, the, the vaccine. To take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so big. Okay. This is oh, insert hatching enzymes. What? Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, what? Hatching enzymes. Where the fuck do I get hatching enzymes from? And so Iron Cube.
Okay, don't. They must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force. From Wait, oh, that was I meant to do that? I get this oh, willingly. Blueprint synthesized. Oh. What the actual fuck? And thus, the final quest was given. Collect all the resources necessary to craft the hatching enzymes. Help the Sea Emperor's eggs hatch, and we were promised that the secret would be given. The cure. All it would take was a bulbous bush, eye stalk, ghost weed, fungal sample, and a sea crown. The journey would take us high and low, to dark places and mysterious caves. First, it was the eye stalk. Luckily, we had already planted its seeds a while back, so this was ready to be harvested. Second was the bulbous bush found deep in the ocean. Third, the ghost weed, a short trip to the yellow smoky gas of the Lost River located this one. Next was the fungal sample hiding plain sight in the mushroom forest. Finally, the sea crown. After searching far and wide to no avail, we checked the moon pool that the Sea Emperor was located. Hey, up! there's a cave. Am I meant to be in here? Oh! Sea crown! Is that? It is! You were here the whole fucking time. Why didn't she tell me that? And just like that, it was time. Okay, lady. It's time. Here we go. Oh! Oh, they hatched straight away! Hello, I can scan you. I can scan you. Let me scan you. I did it! I did what you asked. Huh. She's got babies. Mummy's got her babies. I want to ruin the moment, but I did my part of the deal. Can you, will you now give me the thing? Give me, oh, what are you doing? My oh, are swimming for the shallows. is this a good thing? I thank you. Yeah. Their freedom is my end. Oh no. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to You're sleep? You're dying. No, 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 don't die. No, I don't want you to die. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. I didn't know you were going to die. I'm sorry. Oh, the enzyme. Let's put my hand in it. Oh, don't shake it off. Inhale that shit, man. We need that. <sighs> Do I feel different? Jelly Ray egg discovered. Jelly Ray egg. Thank you. Wait, what about now? Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. It is time. 
Thank you. We were now clear of the infection. The very first facility that we had visited had the metal spike arm thing which would probe us for the infection. Now we were clear, we should be able to power down the weapon which had shot the sunbeam out of the sky. And we're doing it. Is it, is it this way? Was up there? No. It's this way. I think. Oh, here it is. What's this gonna do? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm excited. Okay, press the button. Oh! Oh! The facility's powered down! That means the big gun's powered down! We did it. There is literally nothing stopping us leaving right now. We can go build the ship. Fuck yeah, right in there, come on. I did not mean for that to sound as sus as it did. My apologies. Oh! No, you're dying. Have a good, have a good sleep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, come on. What a fucking journey. What a fucking journey we have been on. Holy shit. Right, so for the for the rocket ship we need a uh, kyanite um, ion uh, power cell, which we need the ion battery for, which we can now craft back at the base. So let's do it. I'm not infected anymore. Nobody come fucking near me. Okay. Everything was done. There was nothing stopping us building this final part of the rocket, we hoped. Every step we took on our way home was one step closer to our final one on this planet. Actually quite like... nervous. I don't know why, my fucking... I mean, I don't know. Oh, it just depends on what else we have to build on the rocket ship or whether these reserve fuel tanks is it. But yeah, obviously you'd expect to have a nose on it, but... Okay. There we are. Right, do we have everything we... Oh no, we need the ion batteries now, sorry. Right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's um, make these ion power cells. So to get the ion power cell, we need the ion battery. It's happening. Okay, electronics. Power cell, because we can do the battery. happening okay is that everything okay 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 I want it to fuck's sake Jesus Fucking Christ, and we need a plastic motherfucking ingot as well. Yeah, as we thinking it was gonna be a nice smooth and like exit out of the game. Uh, I don't know if it is out of the game yet. Uh please let me eat. I am battery. Oh now I need to find fucking silver. Fuck my life. <laughs> oh dear. It's typical. You can be doing the coolest shit ever, like building a freaking rocket ship, but somehow you will still find yourself scouring the floor around your base for limestone and sandstone. After everything that we had been through, it was finally time to build the next part. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, don't worry about that. That's just the bulbous sack thing that I dropped. Okay. Construct. Wait, that might be it. That might be it. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Wait, let me get up on the gantry. Oh. Is that the top? Is there any more? Is there any more? Is there any more? Let me up, let me up, let me up. Is that aerodynamic enough? No. No, there might be more. There could be more. Hold up. Don't celebrate. Don't celebrate too early. Go back up. Come on. Oh my fucking god, this is slow. Hurry up. God damn it, there's definitely more. Enter. I oh, can enter it. Holy shit! Storage! Communications array! Am I meant to be doing this now? Communications systems array active. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me, let me check at the bottom of it. I, I need to know if, uh, I need anything else. Yeet! Holy shit. She's sounding kind of hot. She was British. Come on. Is that it? Or is there anything? Please, please don't be complicated. Please don't be complicated. <gasps> That's fine. No problem. No fucking problem. Cyclops shield generator, plastic ingot, enameled glass, and computer chip. And all of those are easily attainable. Okay, right. Bet. Computer chip, we're gonna need some of these. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so fucking exciting. This was the final craft. And each of the components were all easily obtainable. I couldn't believe my luck. As we began to craft these last few items, the excitement started to build. We were going home. We did have to head back out towards the Cyclops, which we had left near the Degazi habitat, as we wanted to use the Cyclops shield generator from there, rather than craft our own. The final piece to this puzzle. We're back. You think I'd forget about you? I had every intention of forgetting about you, but you're just very, very lucky that uh, I needed you. Alright, come on. Come on. Right, we gotta let's take her home. We don't care about the noise, we just want speed. Just tell me when you're about to set on fire. Come on. Come on, please don't make me need anything else. Please don't make me need anything else. Please don't make me need anything else. I want this to be it so badly. Oh my god. That's, this is insane. This is insane. This is insane. I honestly don't think I've ever been more, like, apprehensive, excited, nervous about something before in a video game in my entire life. Okay, fuck that. Right, give me this. Give me the shield. Give me the shield. Give me the shield. Shield, 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 shield. Okay. We don't need anything else. We're doing the rest on with the sea glide. How it fucking started. Come on. Come on. I have no patience. Goodbye, Cyclops. Goodbye, Salad. I don't know if this is the end. I really fucking hope it is. Salad, you were almost as good as Philip, and not quite as good, but you were you were a, a just a, a substitute. The base. Lawn fruit. God damn it, I underutilized you at the beginning, but towards the end of it, we couldn't have done it without you. Is this it? Is this it? 
Is this actually it? together okay hydraulic systems Boot up the primary CPU. Primary computer systems active. <sighs> Repair time capsule. We can give them. <laughs> A bit of titanium. <laughs> <laughs> Just the titanium. An, an image. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That one. That one. I, I want that one. I select. Um. Even if you don't think you can, you will. Just squint, sprint, and clench those cheeks. Balls deep and head on. You got this, baby. Ready. Time capsule ready. Oh. Activate the life support system. Life support systems online. Yeah. And then. And then. Uh, the 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 rockets. Here we go. From start to finish, this has taken it all. It has taken my breath away. It's taken the contents of my bowels. It's taken all of my wits to sit in this chair. It all started with a borderline panic attack jumping into the ocean for the first time, seeing the depths for the first time. Then beginning our crafting of the resources that helped us get into this position. The sea glide, the sea moth, the cyclops, the prawn suit. We explored the map from the safety of the shallows to the islands, to the floating islands, to the lost river, to the lava zone. We encountered aliens and weird architectural wonders. We encountered reapers and lost dear friends, fought our enemies while at our wits end. We dove deeper than we had ever been and oh my god, you wouldn't believe the things we've seen. Every book must have a final chapter. Every adventure has one last step, every life one last 
breath. It was time to go home, to never come back. It was time to say goodbye to planet 4546B. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Captain! Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Your pigeons! Three, 2, 1... Goodbye, world! <sighs> Time capsule jettisoned. Ah, hop on with the titanium, whoever picks that up. In the space. Oh no. 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 Don't know, no, no, don't fall. Oh. An island. Two islands. Take me home. Country roads. Oh! Oh! We're in a wormhole! What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars. This is some, some narration but shit. <laughs> we are different, but we go together. I had no idea what that meant. Boys and girls, we did it. We did it. This is Narration Butch signing out one last time. But you might want to stick around a couple of minutes longer. did it oh my god we did it we completed the fucking game we completed the oh my god <laughs> we actually did it uh. I don't, um, this Subnautica series has been, um, just incredible for the channel and for me personally. This game will forever be one of my favourite games of all time because of the way that it made me feel so many things on so many different occasions and I just cannot thank you enough for being with me here to... I cannot thank you enough for all of the time that you put into the channel. You guys have watched so many minutes of the... Uh, you, you've, you literally, you have been here every single step of the way. The support that you've shown, you guys were in the comments going crazy, liking. I've had people DM me about this. What the fuck is... Hey. Whoa, what the fuck is... Go what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Oh, what the... What the fuck? This is the farthest that I can take you on company space, Bugs no. Robin. You 
sure you want this? What is this? Your research is in everything. No! Is to me. And no! Not no, I can't. What no! Storm. I, I can't do this! From <gasps> gonna miss no! You, I'll find my way back. <laughs> no! Uh, I can't do this! No! No, 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 I can't do this again. No, no, no. Thank you.